Hey everybody, are you ready to make another Adventure Team conversion van? Well, let's get started. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is Paul Knapp coming to you once again from the Man Cave and we have another project in the Man Cave. If you followed my last videos you saw I picked this up at an antique store for 40 bucks and we are going to convert this 1976 Barbie Star Traveler van into some type of AT vehicle that we can utilize for our GI Joes. So let's get started. Okay so the first thing I did was started to take all these pieces out to see what was left and what was broken, um, all these are gonna get cleaned, obviously, and repainted. Um, this piece here, I'm gonna get rid of the stove and the sink. I'm gonna put one flat piece of plastic across that and make that a desktop. And uh, probably uh, figure out a way to cut open these doors so we can have some G.I. Joe uh, stuff stored in there. So that piece goes right here. On this side here, you can see there's a bench um, that's removable. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that yet. I think I am. It does have this little table that goes in front of it. But that will all be repainted. I'm thinking black on the inside and uh, yellow on the outside. Typical Adventure Team colors. On this back side here, we have bunk beds on this side. I'm definitely going to keep them for, uh, you know, not just sleeping, but for medical use. So we got two uh, beds here that are removable. As you can see, this thing was played with, man, or kept in somebody's basement or attic. It needs a good washing. Back here, uh, we have the Barbie sink, which I took out here. Probably gonna keep that just to have one uh, washing unit. These doors open up so we can store gear underneath that. And on this side, it's actually a Barbie makeup area I, I take, but Pretty sure we can get some stickers and convert that into a lift up computer desk. So that's my plans for right now. I have my buddy Hector Ortiz in Florida working on some uh, decals for me. We came up with a, an idea what we're gonna do. So first things first, it's give this thing a good cleaning, remove all the stickers and go from there. Now, when I purchased this vehicle, I noticed there was just a lot of stuff laying inside, and I thought this piece here was the front door, but it is not. It is actually the door for the shower, so I am missing this front door, side door, so I'm not sure what we're going to do there. I do have the top little platform that goes here, but this whole piece, there never was anything here, so I'm going to have to build some type of roof. Okay, so let me get you caught up on the uh, project here. It is early Saturday morning and I've totally taken this thing apart. Um, wheels are off, they were very easy to come off. And it's actually much easier to remove all the stickers and clean the inside if you totally take it apart. And this was super easy, it was nothing like a G.I. Joe restoration. Um, there was literally seven or eight screws and once you remove those, the whole thing comes apart. So if you're planning on doing one of these on your own, definitely take it apart before you clean it and paint it. Makes it a lot easier. My plan for this is I've measured all these areas where the stickers are and I'm going to have Hector make me some type of uh, maybe computer board or diagnostics testing, something like that. So I can just stick them in this area and this area as well as the flip up mirror. I'm going to take that off. I'm going to put a computer screen here and a keyboard there. I think that'll look cool. So that's where I am now. Uh, I'll be cleaning all this today and maybe getting that first coat of uh, paint on. It's 
So I visited a local uh, vintage toy store in the area and I found this gear which was fairly cheap and I'm going to convert it and add it to the set. Of course this is the radar and solar panel for the tracker I believe. So I'm thinking maybe we can put that on top of the, uh, of the vehicle once I'm finished. Paint that up. Of course this is from uh, one of the later Adventure Team sets, the uh, scuba diver. But I thought we could attach that to the roof for some gear. This was kind of neat. I'm not sure who made it. It says made in China. I'm not sure if it's vintage or, or newer, but it looks like a World War II type battery maybe, radio. But again, I was just thinking extra gear that could be strapped onto the roof or put inside. This obviously is a generator. This came with the later Hasbro Navy Diver. Um, and it only had this and the, uh, the jackhammer kind of drill thing. So, not sure if I'll use this, but I'll definitely use the generator. Paint that up, and uh, you know, I gotta have a generator when they're on site somewhere, so I'm gonna have to put that on. And then I came across these ammo cans, which were fairly cheap, uh, two to a pack for I think five dollars. Now they are the German version, as you can see, uh, but. I think we can uh, make that work, paint those up either black or yellow or something and uh, again put those on the roof for extra gasoline and then finally we have a uh, kind of a later version slide, slide for life escape harness thing and uh, probably paint that yellow or black and one more thing just to add to the gear on top of their roof. So yeah, we're gonna make that work uh, for this uh, this new vehicle. Okay, so here's where I am today. This is the third day of deconstructing this Barbie van. I'm gonna go with this shade of yellow for most of the body. I went with black for all uh, interior parts as far as uh, the seats are concerned and things like that. And then for this, I'm gonna try this metallic to make it look more like a uh, like a science center of sorts so I took out the larger sink here I'm gonna put this piece of plastic in there and just give it a bigger countertop for computers or circuit boards things like that and then on the small vanity sink I took that larger sink there and I cut and paste uh, put it in there it's a very small hole right there I'm just gonna milliput that and that should work for that cabinet and then again I've already ordered decals for this which is going to be a flip up computer and a keyboard down here I have the drawer for this and I think the top of the vehicle I'm going to paint black because I'm going to make a longer uh, roof to have the whole thing covered and I'm gonna paint that black as well so these few things here are getting painted black the rest of it is gonna be painted this metallic and again the body is gonna be painted this shade of yellow
So now that all the pieces are dry, my next step is to rebuild this on the inside and get all my measurements for Mr. Ortiz so he can print off all the decals for on the inside of the vehicle and also on the outside. I've painted these a stainless steel color. I think that turned out really good. Um, kind of like a laboratory, stainless steel. So I'm gonna get him to make some decals for on all these cabinets and counters. And then uh, there was one bench that goes right here and a, and a cabinet underneath it. And the cabinet held a little table, but it was so flimsy and it was so small. I don't even, I don't even know how a Barbie doll could get behind there. So I've eliminated that and I just went with, uh, I'm gonna reattach the bench right here and see how that looks. But uh, yeah, I'm liking the way this color turned out. I have to paint the top of this either yellow or black. I'm not sure yet. I painted the bottom side and uh, then measure the remaining half of the roof because I want to put a full roof on this thing when it's finished. And here's the bottom part of that table I was referring to. Again, I just cut out the rest of the, the plastic that was holding the table there. I'm gonna paint this uh, silver to match and uh, hopefully just blend that in. And after doing a little research on eBay, I did find somebody that was selling just this one door by itself. Of course, I'm paying almost what I paid for the entire vehicle just for this one door. He was asking $30 and I paid $40 for this whole thing, but it's gonna be much easier to do that than to rebuild this and have it be a perfect fit. So biting the bullet and paying the $30. So that should be in hopefully by the end of the week. And then I can paint it and add it. So as I'm working on rebuilding this, I realized that I can't very well go with no windows or clear windows, if you will. So I've decided to put tinted windows in there. So I ordered some smoked plastic film, acrylic film, and that should be in by Friday this week. And hopefully it'll work and I'll be able to cut out pieces of this just to fit over the windows and I can sand this down a little bit, put some light glue on it and lay the film down and hopefully it will work. Um, but yeah, you can't have a, a secret uh, adventure team vehicle in the field and people being able to see right through the window. So you gotta put some tinted windows on this thing. Now again, this is the one section roof piece that is removable. I've decided to put anchors at the corners of these and put a cargo net over top of that so I can hold their gear. And I've ordered a cargo net from Pop Blocks 4583. So Cody made me a uh, mesh cargo net that's gonna go on there and I'll hopefully have it uh, by the end of the week. Okay, so my tinted vinyl showed up and it is exactly what it says it is it's vinyl it is like the soft top windows on my jeep wrangler that's the type of material it is i was hoping it was going to be more um stiffer like this laminated piece of paper so i'm not sure how that's going to look i mean I, it's going to look smoky like i want but i don't know if i want that soft type i may have to like put plastic on first and then put this behind it to look smoky. I can't find any transparent hard stock like this anywhere. So, um, kinda, kinda still thinking how this is gonna go. All right, so this is my first test one, just to see if it'll work. Again, I'm using Goop, which seems to hold just about anything to plastic. I did not put a hard plastic front to it. I did cut the vinyl just slightly bigger than the window. I think it looks good, although you can see some wrinkles in it, so it doesn't look like a straight glass, but it does give you that tint look. Now I'm just hoping that uh, this goop will hold the vinyl to the plastic. I have to give it a day and wait and see.
And finally, after almost a month working on this project, I believe it is complete to the best of my ability and I will walk you through this step by step. This is the brand new G.I. Joe rapid response vehicle. Of course, it started out as a Barbie 1976 Star Traveler, but it has now been converted into the G.I. Joe rapid response vehicle. I tried to incorporate a little bit of several members of the AOA into this, as well as uh, vendors that I purchased from. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, start with the top here. So starting at the very top, we have a cargo net, which I ordered specifically from Cody at Pop Blocks 4583. If you guys have any special cargo netting you want made, this was a very odd size. It was like eight and a quarter by seven and a half, something like that. So he made me this cargo net to hold all the uh, gear down on top. Underneath the cargo net, you can see this is the G.I. Joe Adventure Team case that Jeff from the Skull, uh, Skunk Works made for me, uh, I believe a year ago, which was cool when we did that challenge. So I incorporated a little bit of Jeff in there and it fits on there perfectly. The claw on top was made by Brad Curry. I believe I bought that a year ago. These are pieces I picked up at a uh, local antique store. The, the piece right here is just a uh, generator that came with a Navy Diver uh, G.I. Joe set. Took it apart, made some changes to it, and added a AT sticker on the side. Of course, I showed the painting of these two gas cans on top. This is a 3D printed box from Peter at the Skunk Skull Reviews uh, along with this can here and I just put a uh, Adventure Team decal on that you can see. So I guess two are going to be gas and one might be oil or this one could be water I guess. This piece I want to say this came from Pat if not it's one that I made but Pat gave me the idea. You can pick these little containers up at Walmart and uh, Pat and Jameson gave me that idea. Moving along the top, of course this raft is a G.I. Joe raft. This came from the challenge at Hawk River, I believe. And I just painted it black and put an AT sticker on it. Still kept the uh, harpoon type grappling hook weapon and I kept that red. The lights and sirens, I purchased this on Amazon. I believe it was like $12. They do light up. Um, each button is something different. You can change out the colors. You could have two red, two yellow, red and blue. Um, so it was worth the uh, 10 or $12 that I paid for it. So thought I'd add it to it. As far as the decals, both inside and out, these were all made specifically for this vehicle by my buddy Hector Ortiz. Hector is located in Florida and he does sell his stuff on eBay. But if you contact him directly, he will make decals for you, whatever you needed. I needed new headlights. He put headlight decals. This is a decal here. Um, this was a very nice water slide decal, the one on the side. And I will show you the other ones on the inside. The windows I showed earlier, these are actually uh, vinyl. They're not hard plastic. I wanted that tinted look. And because of the curvature of the van, it was much easier to use the vinyl on here than hard plastic so I'm kind of glad that I indirectly made that mistake of ordering vinyl but it worked out better I left the front open so people could see in there without it being dark I made the top roof piece uh, this is out of wood because I wanted it to hold heavy stuff on top I didn't want to use plastic I didn't want it bowing and also underneath once I lift this off, you'll see I added an LED light. Now there were two LED lights that came in a pack. These only were $10 on Amazon. Came with a remote control. Uh, they both will light up uh, at the same time. You can have different colors. You could have the same color if you want. You could have it strobing. Um, but it was definitely worth the 10 bucks once you see it at night. And I'll post some uh, video pictures at the end of this. I believe I mentioned earlier that the entire van cost me $40 plus tax 
at an antique store I was able to find this door on eBay and the door alone cost me $30 so the door almost cost as much as the entire vehicle but it was definitely worth it because there's no way I would have been able to make that door out of plastic especially with the window and the indent and the curvature of the van so it was worth the uh, 30 bucks to uh, complete this I know it's gonna be kind of hard but let's take a look at the inside of the vehicle again I painted all the seats black including the uh, driver's seat I painted the drivers panel up front black the steering wheel black this right here is just plastic tubing that I glued four of them together and they are maps they can be <laughs> pulled out uh, I rolled up some map maps and put them in there the shower has now become let me see if I can zoom in that for you but it is a emergency decontamination shower so we have that in the van now this is the back portion of the van on the right hand side we have the cabinet which was once a Barbie makeup area we put a laptop in there with a uh, keyboard this is just a rolled up map that I glued down um, very lightly got another map hanging on the wall here everything was painted that uh, metal silver look to make it this makes everything look sort of a, a lab area, if you will, stainless steel cabinets. I had Mr. Ortiz put two stickers on here, decals. And I took the big sink from the front and I made it uh, into more of a laboratory type sink towards the back. Now this is the opposite side of the vehicle. Again, I did the vinyl tinted windows here. A second set of decals on this side including the American flag looking down on the inside the passenger seat again these swivel which are nice I turned the stove and oven into a computer type uh, monitoring uh, sonar system if you will and the front of that I thought that looked cool and I didn't really have to change much here I just put a piece of plastic over the sink that was originally there this is just a, a simple map I just lightly tacked that down so that's there the refrigerator we made it a cold storage area so that is there moving further to the back this is the only area I wish I would have done more with maybe put shelving in here or something see if I can zoom zoom out with this but it's just a two pieces of plastic and it's got a lot of room there I don't know if you can tell but I have a case down there another one of the ones from Jameson and, and Pat this is a uh, Brad Curry one, I think, and this is uh, uh, from Peter at Skull Reviews. And finally, at the rear of the vehicle, again, I kept the two bunk beds. I just painted them black. These are removable. I don't know if you can barely see under there, but there is an alien laying in there that Peter made me. I bought a second one for the top bunk. And underneath there, I know it's very hard to see, but I will show you what I made to uh, make that look sort of like a cryo chamber. So ultimately, I wanted to have two cryo chambers. I was going to have one on top, and that would wrap around here somehow. But with the window being there and the curvature of the vehicle, it was almost impossible to make it look half decent. I have the same laminated piece of sheet, sheet underneath there with the uh, digital, I don't know what you would call it, controls on it. That I laminated it and put it inside there so I'll try to show you under there but that's what it looks like so that one I just attached to the top bunk when you came up here you really had nothing to attach this one to so I just left it open but <clears throat> if I do some more playing around I'm sure I can figure something out to uh, have two cryo chambers but that was the whole idea here to have some type of table uh, cryo chamber back here towards the medical area and have two aliens on them so Peter really knocked it out of the park with these two aliens. He made me a, a seated guy too. I um, guess we could stick him up in a passenger seat, have him go for a ride. But um, yeah, when, when this vehicle finally turned out the way I wanted it to, I was like, man, this, this looks good. I almost want to start another one. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this journey. And uh, if you can find yourself a 1976 Barbie Star Traveler van? Well, contact all the people that I 
bought this stuff from and uh, let them help you out. As always, keep on collecting and thanks for watching.